Come on, Ridge. I know where your head is today. I knew it before I saw you rereading that letter. Look, Taylor is a terrific woman, but she deserves somebody who can give her everything he's got. It's exactly what I'm going to do, Thorn. No, you won't. You can't. Not when you still have feelings for Brooke. So what are you going to do, big brother? You're going to run out of time. Rich! Oh, there you are. Come on back. Taylor has an announcement to make. Here he is, everybody. I found him. Ah. I see. Oh, hey, honey, come on over here, quick. <laughs> so, what's this announcement? Well, you know, usually I tend to be a very organized person, but uh, planning this wedding, there were a few things that I kind of left to the last minute, including something very important, and that was choosing someone to stand with me at the altar. thought that was Ridge's job. No, I'm talking about on the other side <laughs> oh, of me. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, luckily for me, choosing my matron of honor was one of the easiest decisions I ever had to make. Actually, there was no decision because this one person has been a very dear friend and really and truly like a mom to me for a long time now. And really and truly, this whole thing wouldn't be happening if it weren't for her. I think we all know who I'm talking about. My future and former mother-in-law, Stephanie. Well, Thank you. My turn. Uh-oh. <laughs> we all want our best man to be our best friend. It, uh, it's easy to find a best friend in this world if all you're looking for is a yes man, someone to tell you what you want to hear. But people who challenge you, keep you honest, they're a lot harder to find. But a hell of a lot more worthwhile. See, I've been lucky. I've had someone like that, uh, looking out for me practically my whole life. He never lets me get away with anything. Knows me better than I know myself, or so he says. Isn't that right, my brother Thorn? Come on over here. Thorn. <laughs> Here it is, the legend. And there is where you'll be married. Right here on the bow of the boat? That's it. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Let's go check it out. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can make it. You can make it. Watch your step. Watch your step. Put this carpet down myself right before we got here. Watch your step there, sexy. Oh. Yeah. Let's see. Come on down here. Right this way. So, Brooke, we'll be standing right here, looking out toward the horizon, toward our future. Symbolic, don't you think? Yes, tomorrow. Well, I think we should start getting ready. Certainly. Uh, this is Laura. She'll show you to your stateroom and help you find everything you need. Brooke? Brooke? Would you follow the ladies downstairs? If you'll just follow me. What did she say the name of the ship is? I think it was Legend. Maybe I could call the harbor master and send somebody out there. Mom, I promise you, Brooke will call us the minute that Rich stops the wedding. What if Rich doesn't stop the wedding? We can't think like that. Katie, how can I think any other way? Brooke may be about to marry a man she barely knows and certainly doesn't love. She could be ruining her life. I should never let her go through with this.
Here we are. Wow. This is terrific. Whoa. Look at this. Wow. What do you think, Brooke? Actually, it's very nice. Now, your things are all in here, except your dress. That's in the sitting area just behind that door. We thought you might like to change in there since the uh, groom shouldn't see you before the big moment, <laughs> which is coming up very quickly. We should get started. If you'll excuse us, sir. Actually, I think I can manage. Thank you. Well, I'll just be up on deck then if you need me. Okay. Just call me if you like. I'll just come running down. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Thanks. She was just a little too cheerful. Yeah. And you're not. Brooke, I know you're not excited about this wedding. And you don't have to pretend to be. Not to them, and certainly not to me. I just didn't realize that it would ever really get this far. Well, it has. And it's going to keep going. Unless you want to stop it. Or Rich does. You don't think he's coming, do you? No. And I think by now you're starting to have your own doubts. We don't have to go through with this if you don't want to. But if we do, hey, I'll be the best damn husband that ever walked the face of the earth. And I will do whatever it takes, whatever it takes, to make you happy. Knowing how I feel, you still want me? Oh, yes, more than anything. So, why don't you go put that dress on, and I'll start to unpack some other things, okay? Okay. Brooke. Mm -hmm. I love you. It's not like you could have stopped, Brooke. And Grant's not such a bad guy. He seems like a very nice man, Katie. But he's not the man Brooke loves. And he's not the man she should be marrying. No, she belongs with Ridge. I just hope he figures it out. Do you think he will? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I mean, after all of these years and everything they've been through, I just can't believe that was for nothing. Can you? <laughs> I know, but the food is awfully good, too. Hey. Hi. Hi. I was just telling your mother what a wonderful job she's done with this party. <laughs> I will definitely second that. Well, thank you. I can't take credit for the glorious weather, though. I know. Isn't mm. it amazing? Mm. It feels like Iowa in the middle of June. It's just too bad that the days are so short this time of year. Yes, it is, but it looks to me like we're going to have a wonderful sunset. Mm. You're right. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to enjoy this particular sunset. It's not just a dress, it's you. Oh my God, you look stunning. Thank you. Whew, took my breath away. I'll tell you what, why don't we open up that bottle of champagne, huh? And what I'm gonna do is make a toast to my beautiful bride on her wedding day and to our brilliant and glorious future. Oh! 
Thank you. Uh, everybody, if you will, uh, I have something I'd like to say. Uh, tomorrow, my son is getting married. There's no event in this life that is more full of promise and hope than a wedding. It's a celebration of love, but more importantly, it's the birth of a new family. Stephanie and I have always believed, and we've taught our children, that family is the most important thing. And so you can understand how excited we are for our son that tomorrow he begins his new family. And we are especially proud to welcome this, this wonderful woman back into our family, Taylor. Taylor is a woman of uh, grace and style and compassion and intelligence. And Rich is so fortunate to have her. So if you will join Stephanie and me in congratulating our son and wishing them both a very long and happy life together. To Rich and Taylor. I really don't know what to say. I, I just feel very blessed. And uh, I'm just so happy that all of you can share this with me. I mean, it just doesn't feel real. No, really, what doesn't seem real is the last few years and uh, how I've had to pretend that I, I could forget this man and what we have with each other because I can't forget him. I knew I couldn't. I thank God that I had this very small, stubborn streak in me that wouldn't give up that this day would happen and everything would be worth what we've gone through, but, oh God, it has been worth it. Because I love you. I love you so much. And I know we're gonna be happy. that Bridget's gonna come through for Brooke, don't you, Mom? I wanted to, Katie, but if that's what he wanted, why hasn't he said so before now? Well, it's, it's like Brooke said, he's confused. He's made this commitment to Taylor. But I think that when push comes to shove, he's gonna realize how much Brooke means to him. It's what happened before, remember? I certainly do. I'll never forget when Ridge came looking for Brooke in Paris. You should have seen the look on his face. He said it was desperate. He thought he'd never see her again. But see, he found her. I mean, he went all over the world. He kept searching when anyone else would have given up. Doesn't that prove how much he loves her? You're right. And we have to hold on to that, to believe that that love will bring them back together again, the way it always has before. Everything down below is satisfactory. It was perfecto. And I'm sure we will be very comfortable on our way to, well, you know where. You must be dying of curiosity about your honeymoon. Oh, yes. I can promise you, you won't be disappointed. I think the cloud bank is lifting. I'll go and tell the captain we're ready to leave. No, wait. I'm not ready to leave yet. I'll go get the kids soon. I just want to wait a few more minutes. It won't be very long before sunset. Mom, you'll see. By tomorrow, Bridge and Brooke are going to be together again. They might even be married. I hope to God you're right. Tonight at sunset. Grant and I will leave on a private yacht. We'll be married at sea. In the remote possibility, Ridge, that it isn't Taylor you want, but me. Come to slip H101 at Marina Del Rey. 
before our yacht departs. I guess that's it. Nice party, huh? Yeah. That's not what I meant. You're really not in love with Brooke, are you? You don't even have to answer that. Obviously, you are not. If you can sit back and relax while she goes off and marries another man. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Thorn. I mean it. I've put a lot of pressure on you these past few weeks. And it's just that I thought you were making a huge mistake. I mean, you and Brooke, you've been through hell and back so many times just to stay together. I couldn't believe that you didn't care about her anymore. I do care about her. Yeah, but not like I thought. You know, when I think about everything you've shared, the way she helped you after Caroline died, the night that Bridget was born, the wedding, all those months that you thought you were married. I just couldn't believe that you could turn your back on all that. I guess Taylor means more to you than I realized. And I want you to know that I hope you'll be happy together. Thanks. You got to feel bad for Brooke, though. I mean, if I was so sure you still loved her, imagine how she feels. She's probably still hoping you'll come down to the yacht and rescue her from that clown. You think she'll go through with it? Yeah. Yeah, me too. It's a damn shame. Well, see you tomorrow. It's not right. What? It's not right. She cannot marry that guy. She can, Ridge. She's going to. I stop her. What? I, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Ridge, there's only one way to stop her. Do you have your car? Ridge, are you hearing me? She will not call this wedding off unless you propose. Thorn, I don't have time to discuss this. Just give me the keys to are your you car. Are you serious? Give me the keys to your car. No, I'm driving. Come on. I don't think we need to save that. Thank you. Oh. I thought you drove your father home. I did, but I wanted to come back here and thank you personally for this party. It's my pleasure, believe me. No, it was just so wonderful having everybody here, and, you know, I can't tell you how much it means to me to have you and Eric welcome me back to the family like this, especially when you know it's putting the company in jeopardy. Taylor, I don't care if we lose the whole damn company. You and Ridge belong together. Thank you. Speaking of him, where is that fiancé of mine? I think he's upstairs. Oh, well, I have to go up and say hi to him. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> Thank you again. You're welcome. <laughs> You're not ready to go? No, uh, I just, I just meant it's not really time to leave yet, is it? Well, yes, in fact, we're a few minutes behind. She's right. There's a break in the weather, and we'd better get going pretty soon, or we'll miss the sunset. And I know you don't want to do that. You all right? Let's go. I'll start up the engine. Sweet. 